In today's episode of The Insect Hunter, we're gonna be looking in this desert for insects. Is it a barren wasteland or an oasis filled with insect gems? Let's find out. So the purpose of this video is to see how many different types of insects I can find here in the desert. It's an awesome place. And as I came into this area, I found all sorts of cool things. The first day I was here, I found this cool lizard, which was just kind of basking in the sunlight. It didn't really move, but look at those back feet and how awesome those are. It almost looks like some alien with spindly legs. I think these tracks here are from that kind of a lizard. And I also saw these cool snake tracks um, you can see this bank of sand over here and these snakes were climbing up and down this sand which climbing up it just seems an awesome feat to me but the snake tracks look so cool and they're just really interesting. I'm sure you guys have noticed I'm wearing this and I'm using it to kind of show some extra perspective so we'll try it out with this episode see if it even helps. So before I get started collecting I want to talk to you guys a little bit about safety make sure obviously to put on some sunscreen wear a hat and uh, drink plenty of water because it can get quite hot. We're trying to film early so that we can not get into too much of the heat. I also want to remind you guys that if you do collect in the desert or other areas, always make sure you've got the proper permits to do so. So the first thing I did is I came here a couple days ago and I put out some pitfall traps. It's real simple, just basically take a shovel and dig or you can use your hands. I put the pitfall traps level with the ground. You can watch a whole video on all the tips to do that right up here in the top part of the screen. And I also put these markers there because this is a recreational area and so I wanted to avoid people messing around with them. So I put those there as well. Well, let's get into it. I have no clue what I'm gonna find in these pitfall traps. Let's see what we can find. So here's our first pitfall trap that I'm checking. And I don't know whether someone came out here and vandalized this. My thought is it's most likely just the sand kind of shifted um, so I can't um, say for sure what happened, but I'm gonna dig it up anyways. Maybe an insect came in and then it got buried, but this could have something in it, so we'll see. Sifting for gold here. I think, I think someone probably just came and dumped sand in here, or I don't know. I mean, it could have just been the wind. Okay, and as you can see, I did do my traps with the holes in them just in case we got some water, but out here in the desert, it's not that big of a deal, honestly. Uh, you're probably not gonna get much water in this type of area. So let's move on to the next one. All right, so here we are on pitfall trap number two. And as you can see with this one, either somebody's come and disturbed it or um, the sand has just gotten blown away because you can see my cup is actually above the ground. So it's not surprising. Oh, well, there actually is something in there. Um, this appears to be some sort of wasp. I'm not sure if it's alive, so why don't we move the camera up a little closer? Maybe I'll try to handle it, I will see. So there it is right there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna kind of dump it out. I, it doesn't appear to be alive, but if it is, they do have a very painful sting. So at least you'll be able to see me in pain for your entertainment purposes, I guess. It doesn't appear to be alive. I'll see. I'm gonna poke it with a stick before I put it on my hand first. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be alive, but that doesn't mean it couldn't sting me. It could just be cold. It's kind of cold, cooler right now. Yep, a little too much blowing. There it is. I believe this is some sort of palm pillid, which is in the tarantula hawk group, just based on kind of the way it looks, but I'm not sure here. It's definitely a wasp, obviously, and uh, Pretty interesting specimen. It's definitely dead. It just makes you wonder what happened to it because it climbed into here and then it just it just died. Like why wouldn't it just fly out? It doesn't make sense. I'm not quite sure, but it, it went in regardless, which is kind of interesting. Try to get some of the sand off. It's got such a narrow space there on its abdomen. It's really cool. Pretty neat. Yeah, it's definitely dead, so. Sayonara, dude. As you can see right near these pitfall traps where I found that other one, there's all these flowers and these plants. So maybe that wasp actually was in this area not looking for prey or something, because it was probably a parasitoid, but maybe it was just looking for 
um, some nectar. And I don't even know, maybe that red color somehow attracted it to the cup. I don't really know, but it's just odd that it's in there. And it could have been just climbing around on the ground and got into there and couldn't quite figure out how to get out. But I do think putting the traps near these areas with plants will help with the sand. And we'll find out as we go look at all the traps and where I place them. So let's move on to the next one. So here's the next cup. And it doesn't look like there's too much in there, but actually there's a small beetle in there at least for sure. So there we go. I'll kind of dump it out in my hand so you can see. So here's a beetle here. Um, I'll let you get a good zoom in on that if you want. I can bring it closer. This beetle really likes to play dead. These are another type of tenebrionid beetle, I believe. And these are a desert beetle, but see, there he goes. He's gonna come up. It almost looks like a scarab beetle or something like that. But if my memory serves me correctly, it's actually a type of tenebrionid or darkling beetle. So it's, um, so it's related to mealworms and things like that more closely than scarabs. They're a cool beetle. They, they do really look a lot like a scarab. He's just moving a lot. Let's see if there was anything else in here. Probably should look before I just start dumping, but no fun in that. We got some sort of ant here. So see, there's an ant there. And there he goes. See you later, dude. Um, just dump that. Another ant. Some sort of, is that a termite? I just can't tell. Let's see if I can stop him. There he is, really tiny beetle. There he goes. I don't know, it's so hard to see. Some of these insects are so small. But it's a really tiny beetle and it's like an amber color, which is what's cool about it. So it almost looks like a termite. But it's just a small beetle, I think. Okay, let's keep moving. We can look at the small stuff all day. <sighs> Little pieces of flowers. <laughs> Not much else, so. The wind must have blown this one a little. I'll go ahead and I'll pick it up and we'll see what's in there. Okay, there's an ant in there. Let's see if we can get the ant out. There's something in there that might be painful, so I'm just kind of watching. To, I don't want to take them both out first. Okay, so there's the ant. And this is probably a harvester ant. And I'll go out and they'll harvest seeds and take them back to their colony. Their nests have lots of little rocks and stuff around them. And they do have a pretty painful sting. There we go. I thought, so this is a beetle, obviously. It's a really pretty orange colored beetle. I thought this was going to be a, a cow killer or a velvet ant, which is what I was worried about. I don't want to hold those. Well, I might, I don't know, we'll see. Um, because they're, they have a very painful sting. But it's just got this beautiful shiny orange color Not sure what kind. There's not a ton of insects in there I can see right now, but it looks like some animal came and checked it out, you know. Could have came in and cleaned out what was in there or something, I don't know. You know, this could be one of those kangaroo rats jumping here with the two. It's almost like the feet go together, so it could have been like jumping. Interesting, just interesting tracks. Even if you don't find insects or animals, it's cool to see their presence just here in the desert. It's pretty fun. Here we go. Let's see what's in here. Looks like it's mostly just ants again. We'll do it in the paper. Here's what I was looking at that I didn't know what it was. It looks like it's one of those orange beetles. It's just dead. It just died, got stuck. So even though it can fly, it didn't get out, which is you know, nice for pitfall trapping. Usually they'll just fly right out, so. The ants probably got in there just because they're wandering around looking for food, but they can't see or detect things that well to actually, you know, know that there's something in there. Um, they just kind of randomly wander around, like see here, this one's just wandering looking and just fell right in. I think this one's gonna fall in again too. But you see how many of these ants there are. I mean, we only let these ones here go. There's a bunch of ants here, so they're out harvesting, looking for food. And as they're just randomly looking for stuff, they just fell into the hole as they were going around. Okay, so we got a couple pinakit beetles, maybe two different species. Just dump them out. There's the big one. And this small one looks like it's a different species. So I'm gonna actually pick that one up. This is a different type of pinakit beetle. But if you look at its back of its abdomen, 
it's got tiny little, I don't know if it's like fuzz or what it is, but there's little indentations. I don't know if you can see it. It almost makes it look shiny. Most of these are holding up, um, most of these hold up pretty well. I mean, uh, the dirt is still pretty level with the, with the cup, but in some of them it just got really disturbed. But I do think that first one, someone just came and filled it up and was just being an idiot. It's, it's better to hide them or put them close to plants or somewhere that's a little uh, more hard to see. More of those really little amber beetles, I think is what I've been seeing. I'm sure that's not the technical term, but that's just the color. There's something there. Sorry, just dump it all out as I go. Right here's something, some sort of sweat bee, something. I don't know if you can see that green kind of iridescent color. Some sort of bee, I'm not exactly sure what kind. I'm sure you guys can tell me. Let's see what's in here. I'm gonna just do this in my hand. Well, if I find something, I'll dump it on the paper. I'm thinking from what we've been looking at, the plants, uh, putting them closer to plants is a much better idea. You know, how many bugs are gonna come out here away from cover out into the open in an unprotected area, which would make sense. So next time if I do this, I'm gonna just do them all by the plants. Cause this is, you know, there's, not much here. This is all really, um, the nearest plants are, you know, 20 feet away. So there's no real place to hide. So how many insects are just going to venture off into open area with no protection? So that's probably why we're not finding much out in this area. So one of the traps apparently just either got blown over or somebody just buried it. I'm not going to dig for it, but it was somewhere in this area. I just can't find it. So that can happen too. So Make sure you put out a ton of traps, I'd say, because you never know what's gonna happen to them. The wind or people messing with them. All right, just one more trap. Nice. Oh, interesting, really interesting. We may have, uh, we have caught our friend, the same one that we saw earlier in this trap. We're definitely gonna let him go, but um, I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in here. Oh, he really wants out of there. Oh my gosh. So there's a lizard in there and he is really trying to get out of there. Why don't you come up closer? This thing is full. My goodness, wow. This is awesome. So this was just after a couple days. You can see one of those lizards like we saw before is desperately trying to get out of there. Um, some sand did get in there. My goodness, he really wants out of there. He, he does not like being in there. It doesn't look like he even ate those beetles or did anything. Uh, the beetles that are in there are called pinakit beetles. Um, a lot of people in this area like to call them stink bugs, but they're called a pinakit beetle, and they do produce a stinky smell. They'll kind of raise their forelegs and release this smell that's kind of gross. Um, well, let's, let's at least get this lizard out of there. All right. Rescue mission one. Look at that beautiful lizard. He's awesome. And look at those beetles, those pinakit. So those pinakit beetles, look at them. You can see they've got kind of that extension on the back of their abdomen. Oh, <laughs> looks like they're enjoying the cup. <laughs> but maybe, I don't know what's going on there. Here we go. Well, let's just slowly let them out. Looks like there's even some little mites in there or something. So here we go. We're going to kind of let them out. I, this lizard literally could take off at any moment. He was desperate to get out of here. Just kind of tip it. You gonna stay here or are you gonna leave? He's got some spiders and stuff on him. He doesn't care all that much. You gonna go, buddy? Being really chill right now. 
just cold. chilling. Yeah, probably a little cold. He was running desperately a little while ago, though. That was the crazy part. Oh, there he goes. This is why um, you want to check your trap just about every other day or so. Because if you get a lizard or something in there, some of these could be threatened species and you know we don't really want to cause them any harm. So here's these pinakit beetles in a frenzy. All of them there. Let's see if I can get one of them to kind of go into the um, disturbed or the spraying motion. <laughs> that one just walked literally just right back into the trap. <laughs> Two of them. Maybe they like it in there. You guys. Trying to see if I can get him mad. See if he'll kind of get mad at me here. Come on, dude. Come on, you, you can get mad. Spray me. This stuff does stink. He, are you not threatened by me? They just really like being in that trap. Anyways, there's some of those. So we got four of them in that one, which is awesome. So most of these beetles are really good at surviving in the desert. They can go with almost no water. So they're probably coming to these plants, which sometimes it'll get a little bit of dew or some mist. Um, there's not a lot of humidity, but you know, that's sometimes where they get their waters. They'll come to these plants and try to get some moisture. There's definitely moisture here if there's plants though. So that's one tip I would share for sure. Okay, we'll let these guys go wander around. Don't fall in these, these traps again, guys. So we were able to find a lot of awesome insects out here in the desert. This is in the St. Anthony area of Idaho. Where do you guys think I should go next? Let me know in the comments where you want me to put out some pitfall traps next. Maybe I'll try it out and we'll see what we can find. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure and give me a like and subscribe so you can stay tuned. Next time, where big adventures start small. Thanks for watching.